Who are you? Have you ever heard of Frau Percher? Frau Perchter. Frau Who over Perchter. Christmas stole Perchter. the souls of children. Perchter. It's her. Percolator. I'm telling Perchter. you, it's her. She's back. Perchter. Perchter. Nobody Perchter. in the movie knew how to say it either. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Welcome to another B movie with Yvette. <laughs> and Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> yes. Yay. Ray. Happy holidays. Happy, happy holidays. Christmas in July. It's Christmas tradition. Feel your heart melt under the sun with joyful holiday movies. So we're reviewing Mother Krampus from 2017. A heartwarming coming of age Christmas movie. Yay. (laughs) (laughs) Such a happy, jolly tale. (laughs) But uh, yeah, it's actually not really about. Krampus. Mom, I have some Krampus. Yeah, no, it's not about that. It's no. actually based on the uh, German myth of the Christmas witch Frau Perchta. Perchta. Perch. Perka. Perch. Perchta. Percolator. Perchta. 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 Nobody Perchta. in the movie knew how to say it either. Frau Perchta. Frau Perka. Brow Percher. They all said it in different ways. <laughs> I know, so but it, we don't really know how to say it properly. Right, so we'll just say it in a bunch of different so ways. So to we'll... our German audience, please let us know how the heck we're supposed to say this. <laughs> Sorry. Frau per- Perchta. Perchta. Frau Perchta. Perchta. Frau Perchta. Well, Frau Perchta. From this point on, Perchta. I think okay. that's totally wrong, but <laughs> Frau Perchta. We'll just keep changing it as we go. Frau Percher, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, okay. The myth, you know the myth about Frau Perchta. She rewards good children with a gold coin or with a coin, you know, at Christmas time. If the children are lazy and they're very bad, they're not good, they don't do what they're supposed to do. She will visit them, slit their bellies open, eviscerate them, and then fill the cavity with flax, no. wood shavings, and garbage. Not with candy. Unspun, <laughs> no, unspun flax. No, that's the, that would be the Mexican myth of the piñata. The piñata witch. <laughs> the piñata witch. <laughs> shows up the myth of the pinata, <laughs> pinata the witch. Pinata, the pinata witch. That's my kind That's of That's a witch. totally different story. <laughs> she cuts your belly open and fills it with candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more colorful, I'll say. That tradition's a little more colorful because the candy's so colorful and pretty. Uh, <laughs> wood shavings, I don't know. And that is exciting. The wood shavings and the flax and garbage, but... Hey, you know, every culture has their their <laughs> witch, their Christmas witch. <laughs> oh. No, well, so the story okay. is about the Christmas witch. So it starts out with... The ominous oh. male voice. Yes, at the very beginning. A long time ago. A, the narration. Like in this little village, there was the legend of this <laughs> witch. And a weird voice, like they slowed it down. Yeah, because it, it sounded like a, a man's voice. All anyone could comprehend was her screaming over and over again. The witch. The witch. But the way the pronunciation was, it sounded as though they just really, they slowed it down so that the voice would sound deeper uh, and more it ominous. It was very bizarre. But it just sounded goofy. And, and then they were telling of this tale that happened. I feel like it's like a legend of ancient times. Oh, no, it's 1992. It's like 1992. <laughs> <So> stupid. <laughs> it's like, they had like modern conveniences then. Back in the day, in they, the village. They, everyone had cars and cell phones. I know. Oh my just, gosh. So then it opens where there's a few families in the church. And you can tell it's after the service. They're talking to the minister, uh, who's a woman. And there's a little boy in the church, and he sees candy. It's like trail. On the floor, like a little trail of candy going down the 
the middle of the church. And so he's picking up the candy, you know, following the trail until he gets to this huge amount of candy. A big giant pile of candy. Then you hear this voice. Come to me. And you see in the corner, in the darkness, like a black hooded figure. Hiding in the corner of the doorway. Right. And you can see her hand as she's motioning for the child to come to her. So you know it's a woman. You can tell by the hand. And it looks like she has a hook. Right. But it is, in fact. It's a candy cane. Yeah. And the little boy is, like, all tempted. He's got this giant, giant pile of of candy. candy. He still walks up to this creepy old biddy <laughs> that's like standing in the darkness in the corner in a big black cape. It's like, candy. did you did yeah. you teach your children nothing? And, you know, why, why would he want that one icky candy cane? Old candy cane from 1992. <laughs> Probably has lint on it and everything else. <laughs> it's old lady candy. Gross. Who wants that? Would you like to have a piece of candy? I don't want a piece of candy. I just brushed my teeth. But the goofy kid, you know, goes for it. Well, and then he gets snatched. Flies back with her into the darkness. Mm -hmm. Snatched. Bye bye. And his name is Little Perry. Poor Little Perry. He's gone. And that's the tale of Mother (laughs) Krampus. I know. (laughs) Oh, after this, they're at school. The children are at school. Oh, right. And there's a little girl named Amy, and she looks very sweet, very cute in the classroom. And there's a little boy who sits a few rows behind her. He looks her. a lot like a little Ron Weasley. Yeah, he's, he looks he looks a little unhealthy, a little thin. Sickly. Bloody hell! He's a sickly he's, child. A sickly he's like boy. a little tiny Tim. God bless us, everyone. In honor of yeah. Christmas. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> he's a little sickly tiny Tim. Poor kid. Yeah, he just looks so sad. But he writes a little note, hands it over to Amy. Amy, who's an adorable little plumpy girl. Because he likes her. He's a little chubby chaser. Hey, why not? Amy's cute. She's very sweet. As a plumper myself, I, I could say that. <laughs> a plumper guy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a crush on little Amy. And the teacher sees the note, grabs the note. Do you want me to read this out loud or what? This, Ratty little bully. Is something funny, Kevin? Read it out, miss. In the back of the classroom, says, read it to everyone. Read it to everyone. But the teacher is so super sweet. She's very nice. And she doesn't read the note. Little Amy is safe for now. But you could tell that she gets teased all the time. Yeah. Her and little right. Cullum. Little right. sickly the, Cullum. The little, the little sickly boy's name is Cullum. Ron Weasley. And Ron Weasley. <laughs> and so then they, you know, the class is over. They're in the hall. And the bully boy shows up as poor little Cullum is talking to Amy. All sweet and kind. It's so cute. Bully boy shows up and starts harassing them. Sort of found you two would make the perfect couple. Two school losers. Calling them losers. Sounds like someone I know. Oh, not personally, thank you. How God. many times have we heard, you're a loser. Loser this, loser that. Oh, God. Oh, no, don't mention I'm him. So anyway, so yeah. So little Colum gets angry and kind of fights back. He defends Amy's honor. He defends her honor. I shall well, defend your honor. honor. But he, de- <laughs> he defends her. It seems you've been abandoned, and I just want to say, hello, my lady. Oh. Hello, my lady. So, so the the big bully gets in Amy's face, and he's and yeah. Cullum's not having it. Ron Weasley will not have it. Bloody hell! They get into fisticuffs, and they they start getting into it. They don't actually beat each other up. The teacher comes in no. and stops them before any real violence can take place. Boys, boys, stop it! Right, I really didn't want to have to do this, but detention, both of you. And well, she gives them both detention since they were misbehaving. So they're stuck in detention. Meanwhile, Amy leaves with her alcoholic mother. Her her alcoholic mother's picking her up, cigarette in hand, whiskey in the other. I don't know. (laughs) No, No, not that bad, but no. um, Yeah, she doesn't seem like the greatest. And says, oh, Amy, we're going to have Christmas with granddad. And I hate to say this, but unfortunately, your father will not be joining us for Christmas. He is just too busy to spend any time with us at Christmas. Um, so, you know, we're going to Grandad's like we always do for Christmas. 
it's just going to be me and you. There's no daddy coming with us this year. He just doesn't think he can visit, so... But, you know, it'd be really fun. <laughs> no! No! Well, poor little Amy is just distraught over this news. Poor Amy. Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> Then Amy and the mother show up at grandpa's house and yeah. immediately he hands mama a drink. Right. He looks like he's drinking a giant pitcher of sangria, but I, yeah. I think it's like some kind of mold wine or spiced wine or something. And so, yeah, he immediately hands her a drink and he's drinking already. Ready to party. So she tells him that, you know, the husband's not going to be there and basically lets him know what's going on, that her husband's cheating on her with some little chickie that he met and how upset she is. And so it's just going to be her and Amy. How am I supposed to tell her that days before Christmas, her dad tells me spending it with another woman? And he says that he, he understands because he went through a similar experience since his wife, her mother, left when she was a little girl. I just can't let Wilden do to Amy what Mum did to me, having to grow up with just one parent. I mean, yeah, Dad, you were great, but you know what I mean. As the world turns, brought to you today by Ivory Soap, 99 and 44, 100% pure. It floats. You will do. 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 So he raised her on his own. She came from a broken home. And so, you know, she says, well, I didn't want Amy to have to go through the same thing that I did. But there she is. You start to think that, well, was a mother cheating and that's why she left? Or maybe the father was cheating? He's very vague about the whole scenario. Amy's mother, Vanessa. Apparently, she knows nothing about her history. No, she's like, I know. She's, she's not like a the blank most slate. inquisitive person. <laughs> no. And she, yeah, it's so it's really odd. So from there... This very strange woman shows up and she's all in a huff and she's all frantic. Alfie, what are you doing here? I need to talk. And she's yeah. she drags Alfie, the grandfather, into the back room, into the bedroom. And she right. has all of these news clippings about the children. It's happening again. Missing children. You know exactly what this means. Keep your voice down. It's time to face our demons. And apparently they all know what happened. And so she's like, look, Alfie, look at these clippings. And he's like, yeah, so what? And she's like, look at it, it's happening again. Apparently there's other children that have gone missing. She says, we need to do something about this. And he says, all right, well, let's, let's all get together at the church. Later that evening, they all wind up at the church. Alfie, Leslie, and uh, some of the other people from the village, they discuss what happened back in 1992. And they were all there. They're kind of all in cahoots about what happened. Please, everyone, thank you for coming tonight. It's been such a long time. I only wish the circumstances were different. They don't say exactly what happened at this point, but they do claim there is a witch. Although there's one well, guy who thinks it's an urban legend and thinks they're all crazy and that there's some uh -huh. kind of psycho killer out there. Sorry, I had nothing to do with this. It's what your grandmother did. It's the same bloodline. We all did Molly wrong. That day, she put a curse on us. One day, Frau Percher would come for us and for our children. Heidi, this is an urban legend. What we do find out is that the witch is after the descendants or the bloodline of this group. Yes, that's what they said. Them, right. Because she's come she's back mad. to get them. She's mad at them. They're, she's going to come after their, their family, their relatives, because of what happened back in 1992. But they don't we really say that. specifically what happened. Right, right. But apparently there were children that had gone missing back then, and there are children that are missing now. They're talking about Frau Pershta, that, yep, yeah, it's got to be her. 
And some of them say, no, it's just a legend. There's, you know, we just have to be vigilant and watch the children. It's just, you know, some crazy person. Yeah, it's an urban legend. There must be yeah. something going on for sure, but th this is just a legend. Yeah. It's not a, not really a Christmas witch coming to get everybody. But in the meantime... The Christmas witch has been like hovering around little Amy and she keeps seeing right. her everywhere. She doesn't get her, but she keeps seeing her like pop up in the bushes and the trees outside. Right. And she motions to her to come over and she's come And to she's me, tempted come to me. She's contemplating right. it. But someone always distracts her or says something before anything could happen. Right. And the witch just disappears. In the meantime, the boys are in detention, so it flashes back to the boys. And they're bickering. Nothing. Really? Nothing. I'll give you something to talk about. And there's a tent in the classroom, which is really odd. I mean, why would you have a tent in the classroom? In I the know, first place? it's this weird, clear, makeshift plastic tent. Clearly, the cops need to visit this place. <laughs> but okay, whatever. Then you hear the voice coming from the tent Come to me, come to me. Yeah, and the bully boy starts to go over to the tent. Yes, he is lured over to the hobo tent. And Callum, the little Ron Weasley boy, says, don't go over there. Don't do it. But the bully just goes right to the tent and he sees a hand oh, that's popping right. out of the tent. And apparently she's she's very, very fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> she must be. Because he's, he's sniffing her fingers, which is so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> So odd. <laughs> I'm thinking it must have had like stale peppermint. Or maybe she smells like that's... gingerbreads or something. I don't know. <laughs> gingerbread. <laughs> maybe, yeah, from peppermint to gingerbread. But she's like stroking his face and he's sniffing her fingers. And then <laughs> she pulls him into the tent and he poof, disappears. Where's Kevin? He's in there. And the little boy screams for the teacher and she comes in and she says, what happened? What happened? The little boy tells her. She looks in the tent. Nothing. The and boy now, is gone. Bully boy is missing. But really, who cares? Not me. I know. Jerk. <laughs> He's a little creep. So apparently this, ass. apparently we're thinking this witch is like eating these children. Abducting them, eating them, bringing them to her little gingerbread house. Who knows? Then we pop back to the church where all the townspeople are still talking. One of the villagers, his daughter is at home with a babysitter. You think that if kids are being snatched up that... You wouldn't leave your kids alone to talk in a meeting about how all these kids are being snatched up. No, th because the parents are part of the bloodline that this witch is going for. So you would have your child with you, I would think, at the church, right? But no, he has the kids at home. With a babysitter. And also, Alfie's is trying to keep this clandestine, this this secret meeting at the church. Right. But he yeah. has his daughter drive him to the church and wait outside. <laughs> Which is so stupid. Why wouldn't she go inside to the church? With uh, Amy. You know, doesn't she, so he leaves know, she, his kids outside to be eaten by, abducted by, by the Frau, Frau Perchta. The Mother Krampus. <laughs> yeah. <Mother> Crumpet. Yes. <laughs> Mother Crumpet. Damn you. <laughs> Crumpet. Yeah. But he, they leave their children alone. They leave their children outside. It's like, you know, people yeah. are kidnapping children. Wackadoodles. Right. Why would you do that? So ridiculous. So, you know, the little girl who is back at home with the babysitter, she is the oh grattiest, most annoying, She's obnoxious a total kid little, little on the planet. Oh my gosh, she is so rude. And just... and she looks ill too. She's all pasty and pale and she's lying <laughs> in bed and spouting orders to her poor babysitter. And she's just yeah. being a total brat. Yeah. Go to sleep. I'm not tired. So shut your face and don't talk to me. And the babysitter, you know, she's she's young. You know, she's probably what eighteen yeah, something or something. Like so, uh, so she, you know, kind of throws it back at her and says, "Well, you know what? Why don't I tell you some scary stories?" The girl says, "Okay, fine. Try your best." <laughs> Go on then, but don't give me that tut about Snow White getting lost in the woods and living with a bunch of men. We all know what really happened to Miss White. <laughs> so, how about this? Have you ever heard of Frau Percha? Who's that? <laughs> Yes, okay, this is going to be good. So she tells her the story about Frau Perchta. After she tells her the story, she says, now you need to look in the mirror and say her name three times. And she will appear to you. And the little brat girl's like, no, that's Candyman. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> what a punk. <laughs> you can't real go. That's candy man. Frau Pirsta, please take her away. <laughs> I know. She's all yours. So she does say Frau Pirsta three times in the mirror and whoosh, all the candlelights go out and you see the image of Frau Pirsta. Yeah. No Minson. She's there. <laughs> she just no. shows up. She's there. Honestly, she didn't even yeah. need to be invited. She was going to go there anyway. That was no, the she was going to go there anyway. <laughs> She, she was just like, ha, ha, ha. thanks for <laughs> thanks for calling out my like, name, but I was here already. Honey, I was coming already. <laughs> you didn't have to call me. <laughs> you didn't have to call I me. I was here anyway. already with my little candy cane <laughs> hook ready to grab you. Yeah. <laughs> so they're hiding and they're scared because they see this figure. And this is in modern times. They hide in this closet. And there's this landline phone, like a wireless landline phone that's ringing. That's ringing. And the uh, babysitter oh, makes God. the little girl <laughs> go get go it, get even it. though she's holding a what? cell phone. This is all your fault. Oh, shush. Oh, no, I need to Oh, but you know what? That girl was such a bitch. Wouldn't you do I the know, same thing? I know. That's so wrong, though. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you go get what the is phone? She thinking? <laughs> Meanwhile. Yeah, because she's, she's lighting, got her you know, cell phone up. Lighting things up with her cell phone. What the hell? Call freaking 911. <laughs> I know. That's insane. Just go, go get, no, you go have get to go phone, get the Brad. phone. <laughs> so the girl goes to get the phone and... Whew, She's snatched away. And Frau Perchta shows up, grabs the babysitter, starts choking her. She stops choking her. And then she starts like wrapping her up with Christmas lights. Or something. She's like using Christmas lights to tickle her to death. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's like, is she going to tickle her to death? Is that what's happening? So it was just so odd. <laughs> so yeah, so she wraps her up in these Christmas lights. And then she goes all Martha Stewart. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like, what is she doing? Is she creating some kind of a nest of Christmas lights? A centerpiece? Is this some ornament? She starts crafting. Yeah, she's creating this with the lights. And then she gets what looks like a piece of ham or uh, bologna or something. And <laughs> she puts it on top of the Christmas lights and then starts to sew it onto the Christmas lights. Come to find out, she is creating this Christmas ornament out of the babysitter. <laughs> She's crafting the babysitter. <laughs> She's crafting, yeah. So that the babysitter is and, now a, a beautiful ornament. <laughs> and the, the little slice of bologna or whatever was actually from the babysitter's abdomen. If you remember the tale so, of Frau Pershta. <laughs> Frau Pershta. In this yes. case, she, she at least she filled her with lights and not with garbage. Yes, she did. She was... She was illuminated. Meanwhile, the father shows up to check on his daughter and he sees the babysitter in front of the house, kind of out on this, almost like a stake yeah, or something. Yeah, like a cross almost. You know? It was crazy. Yeah, it was creepy. This is the father that was like, this is all an urban legend. Forget about it. He's the one right. who left his kid alone. <laughs> And then he comes home and yeah. then he just, no, and he falls to his knees after he sees this giant Christmas ornament on his house. Creating sophisticated holiday decorations is really very easy and takes only a few simple steps using very few materials. It was very festive. Yeah. Oh my God. Just ridiculous. So that's the, the first kill in Mother Krampus. <laughs> All the rest of the group is still at the church. Now poor little Amy is alone in the car. The mother goes into the church because they're still yeah. all squawking. That guy left early because he was so stupid. He left his kid there alone. But they leave Amy out in the car alone. So Mother Crumpet comes out and starts trying to lure her away again. But her mother comes back in the nick of time. Right. Then they go home. Are you following me? Don't you have a home? What are you doing? I told you to lock that door. Come on, we're going home. So back in the church, Alfie and Leslie are talking to each other. 
It wasn't easy for me just to walk away like that, you know. You couldn't be with us. You couldn't be trusted. Vanessa is a part of me as well, you know. You're not the only one who's had to suffer. So you find out that Leslie, the weird woman that he that dragged him into the, the room with all the clippings and said Christmas witch is back right. again, is the wife. Is the wife. His wife. Vanessa's mother. Amy's grandmother, but apparently Vanessa has no memory, no recall of her mother no memory at all. Her mom, nothing. Which is bizarre because mm-hmm. she knew her a little bit. <laughs> you know, she knew her for at yeah. least three years, she, yeah. three, four years. You would think, but she acted like she had no idea who this woman was and like, ooh, look, that's And she's got a been girlfriend. around, apparently. She she's around sometimes, and there's no pictures of her mother because she's like, Oh, I, I wish I had stayed with you. I wanted to be I've with you. I loved, loved you. you. I never want to leave. But then he says something really right. bizarre and he's like, we had to not be with you because you couldn't be trusted. You couldn't be trusted. Right. So that was very right. unusual. Yeah. And she, there's a there's a creepiness she's, factor. Yeah, she's too, kind of creepy. There's something about her stare, the way she stares. And she just looks just like someone who'd be evil. Yeah, she does. That's horrible. Do Poor like actress. <laughs> no, that, that, she's doing. Yeah, she's great a great acting. actress because she, she nailed it. Creepy. She nailed it. <laughs> You're good, lady. <laughs> So they come home and when they come home on the door, their wreath is knocked down and there's this big 12 right. on the door written in blood. In blood. <laughs> no blood, one knows we don't blood. Know. But, but instead in of blood. like running to the police, not going in the house, uh, trying to figure out if anyone was in the house, they just go in the house. Yeah. They go in the house and then, right. the, and then Alfie and Vanessa, the father and the daughter, they go upstairs in a very far back room. Well, well, little Amy, the little yeah. girl, has a bucket and washcloth, and she's washing the blood <laughs> she's off the door. The blood off of the it's like, leave pane. your daughter after they after someone's you written know. blood on your door. Leave her outside cleaning the door yeah. while you go off in the well, top, they're busy. like they're a busy corner drinking. of the house, so far away <laughs> you'll never be able to hear anything <laughs> if she screams or yeah. no, or if the witch no, comes no, no, and gets yeah. her. Oh God, I think that's blood. What is that, Dad? We need to get rid of it. No, they're busy. They're busy drinking and you know, and musing about, about times and... what happened years ago. <laughs> God, like poor right, little Cinderella. Right. She's like rubbing blood yep. off the off the window off the pane, window pane. <laughs> possibly to be taken by a, so, by a Frau Percha. Yeah, Frau. So yeah, I just thought that no, was really it's odd. really odd. But then lovely Amy, little Amy, so cute, so sweet. Amy, what you always wanted for Christmas. This is when Amy, uh-huh. we found out Amy always oh, right. wanted for Christmas a little kitten. Like, that's what she wants for Christmas. Amy, right. her daddy's not going to be there. You, you're an alcoholic, no. mama. So right. <laughs> I need, at least can I have a the, kitten for her give, Christmas? And she's and she gives her this, no. this janky stuffed it's, cat. Little st- she's like, well, we stuff, can't yeah, now. Sorry, kitten. babes. <laughs> Sorry. So this will have to do... Amy gets nothing. She just has to wash blood off yeah, doors. Amy gets nothing. Poor Amy. She's left alone. She's a neglected child. These goofy people who are just drinking all day and grumpy. And... She's a poor, neglected child. While she's outside, what do you know? Frau Petra oh, shows right, up. Right, right. And what does she have? Goodies. A naked <laughs> kitty. A little a hairless, hairless cat. Hairless cat. And she's playing with a little careless so cat. Cute. And then Amy sees her in the distance. Is that your cat? I'm not a fear. I'm not a fight. I'm not a condemned children. I'm not in danger. I'm not in danger. Can I touch it? And she's like, oh, can I pet your kitty? Can I come pet your cat? And she's like, yes. Yep. Yeah. And so she's petting the cat and the cat comes Come to her. To me. And you're like, okay, she's going to get her for sure. And then she she puts the cat inside and hides it from her mom. The poor cat. Yeah. She hides it in a closet. <laughs> puts the poor cat in a cupboard. Right. And she says, don't come out because my, my, <laughs> my mom will surely make you leave. So you must stay in the poor little cupboard, kitty. kitty. And then she yes. goes out to sniff uh, Frau Petra's fingers. <laughs> <His> fingers. <laughs> oh, gross. 
<laughs> they love candy. <laughs> and she's hanging out with Frau Petra and she loves her. She's like, oh, she's she's yeah. like more attentive than her mother. <laughs> she's great. Of course. She cares. She cares, she cares. about the children. <laughs> Either she, that or uh, she's hungry. And of course, little Amy being the plump one, she's like the Waigu yeah. beef of children. So <laughs> she's delectable delicious. little children. Delicious and delectable. Oh, I love the little children. And she dodges Ooh. a bullet again because that's when when yes. little Ron Weasley Callum. comes along. Amy! Who was that? It's... To Alan, say on, hi to his, his, his girlfriend. Girl, Amy. Now it's hi, like love, actually. I brought you these. <laughs> he brings her flowers. Wants to know how she's doing. He misses her. And she says, oh, I don't have a gift for you. So she takes off her little, little Christmas cap and gives it to him. And he loves it. And it's so cute because it's got the little braids on the side coming down. It's adorable. And, he just looks so sweet in it. He does. He looks like he's got like little little braids, like Pippi Longstocking. So perfect. adorable. Yeah. Oh. Ron Weasley. But then his aunt shows up. And his aunt says, I've been looking for you. What are you doing? You can't leave the house. You have to be safe. Let's go home. And he says, okay, auntie. Come on. Jesus Christ, I'm worried sick. You can't just run away like that. Come on. Bye, Callum. Say goodbye to Amy. Bye, Amy. Be safe, Amy. And so they start off into the forest, and it's dark, it's nighttime, and they come across this little campfire. They're like, what is this campfire doing out here? And so (laughs) they look, and there's some little gingerbread cookies cooking up on the little grill. As they look (laughs) closer, you can see they're kind of bloody (laughs) gross. And poof, who shows up? Frau Pershta. Ooh. She grabs Auntie and oh my God. <laughs> Auntie, someone help, please. Please, someone help. She has her gingerbread <laughs> cookie cutter and she starts making some flesh cookie cracklins. Oh my God. She's like smashing it into the poor woman's back and peeling off the skin, the shape of the little gingerbread cookies. Crispy cracklins. And the auntie is screaming and blood is gushing everywhere. It's so disgusting. And poor little Ron Weasley is just screaming. In shock. He doesn't know what to do. Instead of Leviosa. He doesn't run. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't pull out his wand to help her. Leviosa. And his poor auntie, she, of course, Frau cuts her abdomen open, removes some of the, her intestines, her chitlins, and starts to feed them to her. Disgusting. It's so disgusting. Oh my she makes God. Her so gross. With her tripe. <laughs> she says she is gross. So she's feeding her her own entrails. It is oh, gross. So gross. But in the meantime, Auntie is able to kind of scream out. Run, oh, finally. Run, run. Run, run, run. She should have said run like 20 minutes ago. I know, when she was making her into cookies. By then it was too late. <laughs> it's like, it was too late, yeah. Ron Weasley. Right. Like, Just run. So right. she makes her crackling cookies. And this is when we pop back yeah. to Alfie and Vanessa having their discussion. And this is when we find out what really happened. Yes. This is when he tells her the truth, or so we think. It was 25 years ago at Christmas. Molly Fletcher was a a woman living in the village. She, she was known for being weird, different. Lesbian! We're all thinking it, aren't we? I'm not. It was said that her her daughter chased a cat into the woods and was never seen again. During that Christmas, other children went missing. Children's bodies were found in the woods. And then the rumors, stories about Molly started stirring, saying she was the killer. One night we, we gathered together. She cursed all those present. You think that this, this Frau Percher, you, th- you think that she's actually here? 
that she's come back for the children of those in, involved. But, but Dad, how were you involved? I mean, you, you, you only had one child. I mean, I'm an only child. It was really, they were just a vigilante mob. Yeah. In 1992, the first child that was missing it was the child of right. the strange woman, Molly, Molly right. that it was very odd, very strange, which is code, a.k.a. lesbian, lesbian. <laughs> so the lesbian <laughs> that just might have been a little bit witchy, like she may have like been collecting herbs yeah. and foraging in the forest, in the forest, you know, yeah, so so course. everybody points their fingers at her and says, oh, Molly is yeah. the Christmas witch. Well, Molly is the one that's killing everybody i'm sure she's making you know little tinctures and i'm sure she was a lovely woman with her child well, i'm sure i mean come on. and so her child's the one that mm -hmm. went missing first first one yeah. when all those other children started going missing then they basically turn into vigilante mob mind you this is 1992 yes. when there are sheriffs yeah. and police officers, police officers detectives, detectives investigators instead of right. just deciding oh this molly's strange she must be the killer let's go yeah. hang her they go out with yeah. their pitchforks yeah. and their ropes and they go yeah. out to capture this molly <laughs> and drag her into the right. forest because yeah because, because evil, evil dies, dies tonight, tonight. <laughs> evil dies tonight evil dies tonight so vigilantes go and yeah. get her and they they basically start stringing her up in a tree right they're just about to and then evil leslie picks up looks like a machete this huge and knife just stabs her. her in the gut and then they hang her too but not before she can curse them and all so that's when they get the, the curse molly says okay all of you will be cursed i call upon frau Pershta. you will be cursed your families will be cursed for what you have done to me and so now vanessa knows Eve. that this is why everyone's so terrified and they think that everyone's coming after the bloodlines. And yet they still don't run downstairs right. to see how Amy is outside washing yeah, the blood Amy, off the know, window. She needs to, she needs to, she needs to <laughs> fend herself. <laughs> Amy. But now she knows the story that they, you know, this mob of vigil vigilantes killed this poor, poor woman, poor woman, Molly. And so basically they think the killer, right. like this evil witch that's cursing them is basically named Molly. And you don't have issues yeah. <laughs> with the names of some of these. Molly. These people should be have better names yeah. than that. What? Frau Percha, the evil mother Krampus witch. Evil. What is your name? Mother Molly. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta come up with oh, better well, names. Oh, poor Molly. They do. Oh, they so do. Molly is but now after them. Molly. Poor Molly was was just killed by this crazed. Oh my! Whole God. village, basically, the village are a bunch of crazy right. nutters. Murdering so they're people. all murderers. And oh so you have God. no sympathy for any of yeah. these people because they're all murderers. No. Crazy yeah, vigilantes. Exactly. And you feel sorry for their kids, but oh yeah, know, it's like. Jesus Christ, what are these people thinking? They'll be so much better off with Frau Percha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so little Amy has been very naughty, calling her dad, telling him that that she would like him to come over for Christmas and that mommy really mommy wants him wants to come, him over, to come over, over for Christmas too. Mommy wants... And he says, really? Your mom wants me to come he over He should for know better. Too? Yes. Hi. I hope you don't mind, but I brought someone along. You are fucking joking. Mum, it's Christmas. I mean, I didn't know I'd be bringing her, but can we at least have a good Christmas? For me? I think I'm going to throw up. Right, what a dummy. But I mean, he looks like he's 15, which is weird. As I thought when she called him, I was like, "Are you? is she calling her brother that just can't come home for right. Christmas? He looks like he's <laughs> all of like 30 years younger than this woman. <laughs> he looks yeah, like a teenager. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, it must be he her does. brother. And then you find out it's her father. <laughs> it's her dad. And right. then you it realize just, why it didn't yeah. work out. I mean, she looks like she's got to be in her 40s. Like would... late, maybe even late 40s to early 50s. And or maybe, you know what? Maybe he was just so annoyed. <laughs> she, she aged, aged quickly because he's such an ass. <laughs> <laughs> but you're such a jerk. You're giving me right <laughs> Oh my Damn gosh. You. But you know, or maybe she was just nervous because he's underage. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know I shouldn't be doing this. I know I shouldn't oh be doing my this. God. <laughs> so yeah, so daddy shows up with his young chicky babe girlfriend. Who really thinks she should be welcomed wow. into the family. Why would she I, I know, that? what an idiot. Okay. It's only been two months since they split up and he left her <laughs> for this woman. And then she oh thinks God. she's going to be welcomed into their household like a new member of the family. <laughs> I think I'm going to throw up. Like a little, like, oh, I'm the stepmom now. I wouldn't hey. be surprised if Vanessa made made crackling cookies with her. <laughs> <laughs> I think she really wanted to. <laughs> so they show up, and of course, Vanessa is not happy. She's very angry, but um, she keeps her yeah, cool. Yeah, she doesn't much. lose it. Anybody else would have lost it, but she right. doesn't lose it. Oh, but yeah. the little girl is yeah. ecstatic. She She's so happy that her mommy and her daddy and her daddy's mistress are <laughs> All together her for Christmas. Oh God. Horrible. Horrible. And she's got her cat. And in she's the got cupboard, her, so. her she's poor covered. little suffocating cat in the cupboard. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> Didn't anybody teach oh these gosh. kids? Uh... Well, they live in a small village. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, God. So Vanessa and Alfie, they do go back to the church. Yeah, they go back to the church the next day because they were supposed to meet up with the other people the next but day. But nobody church. shows up because now Vanessa knows. No shows now Vanessa knows what's going on. And so they leave Amy alone with daddy and girlfriend and right. they go out to meet the other vigilantes and yes. uh, they find that nobody is there. No one's there. They're all gone. They, they figure that they're the last ones that everyone else must have been killed or their kids. And kidnapped. so they have to go protect their own. Right. Amy. But she's the last one. Yeah, because she's the last kid. Yeah, and she had the number 12 there. So it's like, Yeah, so it's like the 12 days of Christmas. The 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> On the 12th day of the Christmas. Approach I brought to the me. Brought to me. From your back. A stale old peppermint like candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody cracklings. Delicious bloody cracklings. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not for me, thanks. I'll just drink the eggnog. So Alfie and Vanessa go back home. Right. And daddy and yeah. and girlfriend and little Amy are just like having a good old time. It's like, we're going to cook up our t- Christmas dinner. Yeah. They're all dressed alike and <laughs> acting all goofy. Sweaters. And he must know that all these children are missing. It's like happy Christmas times. Well, Everybody's yeah. missing. Everybody's missing, but they're all just kind of oblivious. Well, they're already oblivious because he went to dinner at his... I know, to his wife's... His current wife's house with his girlfriend. House with his mistress. Yeah, that's, that's pretty oblivious. Pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> clueless. And they're all having dinner. Finally, Vanessa kind mm-hmm. of like, she flips out a little bit. She gets a little pissy because, you know, she's Do you really drinks, think so. I want your girlfriend here? Are you that stupid? You dipshit. <laughs> Do you really but think Amy, I want them here? But Amy said that, Amy said that you You're going to listen to your 10-year-old here. daughter. <laughs> why are you here? Oh, Ness, please, it's Christmas. No, seriously, why are you both here? I don't understand. Because you left me two months ago for, for, for this. This little waste of oxygen wannabe. W- what are you trying to do, Wilden? Are you trying to rub it in my face? Is that it? Because, well done, yeah? Why can't you just get along for once? It's not just your Christmas, it's mine too. It's wonderful meeting you all. Wilden, I'll see you in the car. Oh, wait. No, go on, go! Go on and take your lousy, crappy, turkey, chicken, whatever the fuck it is with you. <laughs> and she wants a hairless cat, You too. idiot. And she actually has to explain to him, you left me for somebody. <laughs> right. And you want me to be happy that you're here for Christmas? I never wanted you here. You idiot. What? And then the girlfriend is the one who's outraged. If nobody wants me here... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to leave, leave then. I was like, okay, lady. You are all so You are so, so welcome to leave right now. <laughs> Just go. I made a, I cooked a turkey for you. I made Get a nice dinner. Get the hell out of here, how lady. You treat me. Yeah. So she gets pissed off and she leaves. She goes outside and she's by the car, all huffy and puffy. And who shows up? Frau Bershta. With another stale With another candy old lady cane. stale to the candy neck. cane. <laughs> I know, killed by candy cane. Right into 
little chicken girlfriend's neck. <laughs> and all this blood. I mean, uh, yeah, you get the jugular. Blood everywhere. There's not a whole lot of time left. <laughs> but she had plenty of <laughs> well, time because to... husband boyfriend comes right. out. Like and he comes and bleeding. he's like, tries to scare off Frau Perchta. And he like punches her. But of course, it does nothing because Frau Perchta is like has an iron no. face. And you cannot do yeah. anything to her. She's like she's stronger than anybody. She's got like powers like Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, she's got the force. She's like, she has the Darth Vader power where she can just like motion. She motions to you and the force just poof, oh my gosh. takes off. And she's stronger yeah. than Iron Man. And, and she just touches his face. And it just scalds his whole face. He's all sizzly. It sizzles. No! So one half of his face is still pretty 15 year old boy. Is, is and the other half is and burned. burned. Sizzle. Sizzle. He's medium crackers. rare. <laughs> He's medium rare. <laughs> <laughs> they drag the poor girlfriend back in. She's still yeah, alive. Yeah, so they drag her in and that. they just leave her kind of in the yeah. kitchen. You know, Vanessa's a nurse. So Vanessa's trying to help her and she's like yeah. telling her to be calm. And at that point, you mm-hmm. really need an ambulance. But of course, nobody's calling an ambulance. Apparently, there's no no police station, no, no ambulance in this village. No ambulance. None of that stuff. No, there's nothing. <laughs> So she's just gurgling and I guess she, I don't know what she puts on her neck, like an oven mitt or something, but she puts something on her, on her neck to like stop (laughs) the bleeding. (laughs) The father goes to his secret Christmas chest (laughs) where it has all of his... Christmas lights that are lit and Christmas lights that are on sticks, a la Negan, like his baseball bat, but with lights. Right. And the thing is, they're, they're lit up. Why would they be lit up? Who has Christmas light sticks? Is that a thing? Right. Take these, the lights you fend off the witch. Keep them close and keep them. Now, listen to me. I am not going to lose my family. Do you understand? <laughs> it just, I guess, I guess we're missing out. We need those. And his Christmas light axe yeah, he pulls out <laughs> his the axe, axe in, his, in his sticks <laughs> christmas light sticks so the gals get the christmas light sticks amy and vanessa and grandpa alfie has the axe they're all ready to defend themselves from frau Bursta. i will never remember that name <laughs> so they're, they're they've armed themselves with christmas lights and then they're upstairs and they're like looking out windows and they're like they don't know where she's at and of course she she just because she could go right. anywhere because she can appear or disappear at will. She has the power. She, you don't. I mean, it's not like a vampire. You don't have to invite her into your house. Uh, she doesn't even need doors. Right. She just like will appear wherever mm-hmm. she wants to appear. So you really can't stop her from going wherever she wants to go. Right. And so she just pops into the house and the grandpa tries to, to stop her with the axe. And she just okay. grabs the axe and she just acts where pins him to a wall, knocks him knocks down him and down. gives him a big gash in his head. Vanessa, she can't do anything. She, you know, she beats on her and then she just turns around and then does the Yoda thing. With her Christmas lights. Puts her hands out and just lifts her up into the sky and flings her away. Flings her. Boyfriend tries to stop her, but she's she's way too strong for boyfriend and nobody can stop her. She's just mm-hmm. way too strong. She starts strangling him with Christmas lights and Amy is hiding, but she sees what's going on. And she she watches this and believes her dad is dead and then runs and hides upstairs with her mom in the bathroom. But her dad is not dead after all. And Frau has taken an electric knife. Oh, no. oh well, then, yeah, then she goes all Martha Stewart again and she decides to make Christmas dinner yeah. out of girlfriend. Out of the girlfriend. <laughs> So she has the girlfriend on the dinner table and she kind of ties her up with like tinsel and everything. So she almost looks like a Christmas turkey. Your Christmas suckling. <laughs> yeah, she even puts the apple oh, that's in the terrible. Christmas bag. Horrible. And she gets the electric knife and starts cutting in her back. Just You don't actually see anything. No, you just see like blood on the electric handle of the electric knife. It just looks like a very strange Swedish massage. <laughs> <laughs> and she removes the girl's kidneys all over the innards she likes she likes organ meats Ooh, <laughs> delish they're a delicacy for a christmas witch <laughs> they are they are. And she puts them in a little Pyrex dish, right? The little kidneys. I know she organizes them so nicely. She, she I tell you, Martha Stewart would be very happy. Yeah. And and she tastes the kidney raw. 
Mm, she licks it a little bit and it sounds ooh, so delicious. A mousse bouche. And then puts it back and puts the oven on. At 350 for 15 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> Chop them up and mix them with the heavy cream and the fresh eggs that the milkman brought to our house. Now that's a good thing. Meanwhile, the dad is half dead with Christmas lights around his neck and she takes out the delicious kidneys I'm so that disgusting. belong to his girlfriend his dead girlfriend and starts to feed it to him and he's gagging and barfing everywhere <laughs> something that looked like chunky <laughs> stew it was disgusting yeah. I, I really literally <laughs> almost <laughs> threw up it was gross. pretty gross yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was so disgusting. Gross. And she's trying to feed it to him. Oh my god. Yeah, it was it was pretty nasty. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then Amy and her mom are hiding upstairs in the bathroom. And yeah, daddy is now also looking for Frau Perchta and he's got the ax now. Yeah. So he's like oh, he's not dead. He's like somehow gets away and he's like I'm going to, I'm going to get her now. I'm going to save them. And so he's searching around the house for her and they're all creeping around and the girl and the mother are hiding in the bathroom. The father gets to the door and the mother's listening closely <laughs> at the door. the door. And he's like jangling the, the doorknob. And, and they know that something's out there. So they think it's perched out there. It's not. It's- <laughs> And, and you so you, can, you, you, you think, okay, this is a bad situation. Waiting there. for it to happen. You're counting down the seconds for when it's going to happen. Yeah. Dad's going to slash that freaking axe through the door. And mom's going to be listening at the same time. And it's just not going to be good. You see the mom. She's leaning into the door. He, he wouldn't have done anything. But all of a sudden, Frau Perchuk, who could be anywhere, she can go anywhere she wants. Yeah. She pops up behind the little girl in the bathroom and she just screams. And then he hears that, and that's yeah. why he. But the thing is, you never see the axe going through the door, and you never see the axe actually no, hitting his wife. You don't see it, but you just see her, you know, gurgling with blood and everything. So it's like, yeah, well, they love that, and they love the bleeding eyes. Yeah, they do a lot of bleeding eyes, blood dripping from the eyes, and gurgling out of the mouth. And- Yeah. And so, and then Pierce is gone. So little girl Amy is by herself with her mom. I don't have my dad. And she's like, Mommy, don't leave. I don't have anyone. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. Oh, don't leave me. And then, blah, 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 blah. and it's like the longest, know, like, death really scene. Long. Blah, 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 blah. Perch just appears behind dad. So, right. and the thing that dad is like walking yeah. around for a while and never bothers to look behind himself. And nobody does. He's creeping <laughs> behind him and he never turns around. She always gets him. She always gets him. I think know, he would know no by hope. now. Like, okay. <laughs> She's probably behind Possibly right behind now. you. Ooh. And so she pops up yeah. behind him. And he tries to like hit her with the axe again. And of course, but of course, nothing because she's got the force like Luke. Uh, Darth Vader. She has all the strength yeah. and power and there's just no way. And she does the force on his heart. It's like, right. So she's putting her hand out and you can see all the energy. just, And he's like shaking and then poof, his heart appears in her hand. Throbbing like, boom. yep. Just like Indiana Jones. Boom. Boom. And then daddy just falls and then backwards. He falls backwards, dead. No yeah. more daddy. Daddy's gone. Now Amy's all alone. And Frau Pershta says, Come to me. Come to me. No, stay away from me. Please don't hurt me. It's just, I will take care of you. I will protect you. Amy is scared and she doesn't want to go with her. But Frau Percha reaches out to Amy and caresses her face. 
and basically gives her the shining. Right. Everything just illuminates in bright white light. And then she like sees the truth. And we see the truth. Right. And now we know what really happened. So this vigilante group was all instigated yeah. by Psycho Leslie. Yeah. She was the murderess. Yeah. She's a psychopathic killer right. of children. She was she was killing all the children. And she's the one who pointed the <gasps> finger at Molly and said, look, it must be Molly. It must have been her. It's Molly. Molly. Yeah. She killed them all, eating her own daughter. I saw her do she it. She practices black magic in the woods. She drained our babies for her And then you see this snide little yep. smile on her face when she says it. And she's kind of snickering when she's like getting getting everybody to go kill Molly to believe her and yeah and that she's just a psychopath and now you understand why Alfie said that we couldn't trust you anymore right. and Alfie her husband was in fact a police officer back right then. and he was protecting Leslie and the other secret was that they had two daughters Vanessa and a daughter who was older than Vanessa, another one. And Alfie killed his own daughter. Because he needed to make it seem yes. real so that no one would suspect Leslie. That, right. That they were, in fact, affected by Molly, that she killed their child, too. Leslie was, in fact, the murderer. I need him to keep your secret, to protect you. I love you. They would know. Uh, I needed to take one of our own. Oh, you know? it's so bad. And so Amy is just like, hell yeah, I'm going yeah, with Yeah, I'm not going with these creeps. Go. No. Amy. Don't come near me. Amy? Stay away from me. Amy, we've got to go. You know what you did? What you both did? You know nothing. You killed all those children, and you helped. Amy, no, look, you don't understand. You killed Mum's sister. Come on. And that's when they pull up in their and car. Like, You're coming with us, and Frau Frisch is like, nah. Uh-uh, no way. And she slashes Leslie in the gut with the axe, and then kills, kills Alfie. Alfie. <laughs> I love this. And so Frau Perchta takes little Amy Uh and then you see her like bring her to like I don't know, the bowels of hell. Where was it? I had no idea where it was. <laughs> it's the forest. She ran into the forest, the forest, but then they were in this like weird dark uh-huh. cave or something. It was like, it, well, it, because it was so dark out in the forest and they just had one little camp. It sounded like they were like in the bowels of a cave. Anyway, she takes her to the, the uh-huh. forest or the bowels of hell. Uh-huh. I don't know where it was or what it was. And yeah. then she's basically introducing her to, I'm believing it's Krampus. I don't know who it is, <laughs> but there's somebody coming that she's who introducing knows? her to. And it's like she's been adopted. She's been adopted with all the poor little yeah, children. Well, I'm thinking that she's just saying that, hey, all the little children are here too. I saved them all from their evil, rotten parents. And now we're all going to be a nice little happy family in the forest. You are home now. She gets to be adopted by attentive parents. It's so sweet. It's Christmas in July. It's Christmas tradition. Feel your heart melt under the sun with joyful holiday movies every day. Interesting. You are home because it's a heartwarming story <laughs> of an orphan child that finds a new home. Vengeance. <laughs> yes. You are home now. That almost made me cry. <laughs> I cried warm tears of Christmas. Oh. It was such oh a beautiful God. story. Happy Christmas, everyone. Merry Happy Christmas. Christmas. Yay. Jingle bells, Yay. jingle bells. We're all going to live Ball with Krampus. Krampus. Father and Mother Krampus Krampus are here to save the children. So all the children are saved, and now they're living happily ever after in the bowels of hell. Great. It's a wonderful, wonderful Christmas tale. (laughs) It's Christmas in July. Which we will enjoy for years to come. It will be a holiday tradition. (laughs) Oh, no. I don't know. Well, we eat our gingerbread cracklings. Oh, God, our skin cookies. Our human chitlins. Delish. Delish. It was really like an arts and crafts project. You learned uh-huh. how to make 
little cookies bit of the kidneys, and kidney, kidney pie. pie. You learned how to uh -huh. craft some beautiful new ornaments. Right, with the abdomen skin and Christmas lights. And you saw a heartwarming story of neglected children <laughs> yes. being adopted and getting a home in the, children in the bowels of hell. Being loved after all. And kittens, they get kittens. Make it kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's what everybody wants. <laughs> that, and then that's the one they're going to be showing on Hallmark next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where can right. they find us? And you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Another Bee Movie Podcast. And if you have any ideas, any movies you want us to review, any events yes. you want us to go to, spooky places, anything, just let us know. You can email us at another B movie podcast at gmail.com and give us a five star review on Apple Podcasts. Thanks for listening. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays to everyone, to all of our listeners. Yay. Yay. <laughs>